This build is absolutely insane, and to start it, you only need to be level 25. In this video, I'm going to go over every single ability and aspect of this build so you know exactly how to build it and how to use it effectively, as well as weapons and equipment to enhance the build even further. If this video helped you out or you enjoyed the video in any way, a like, comment, or subscribe goes along with it. First, you'll start in the Staff Stances section, and you'll put 3 points in Exhilaration, which increases health recovered for using Focus Points, which is a big theme of this build, so stay till the end to see how it comes together. Next, we'll be putting 1 point in Force Unbound and Resolute Counterflow. The Force Unbound skill will allow us to charge our heavy attacks while sprinting so we can be more agile while still doing good damage. And Resolute Counterflow will allow us to perform a special move during light attack combos, which, if timed correctly, will parry attacks. This will also consume focus, restoring some health. Once those five skill points have been put into those skills, the next section of this tree will unlock, allowing you to put two more points into Iron Bound Resolve, which will considerably reduce damage you take once you use a charged heavy attack, which again, you'll be doing quite frequently. Three more points will go into Instinct, which will reduce the stamina cost for all these charged heavies that you're going to be doing. Moving to the third and final section of this skill tree, you'll put four points into Quick Hand, which increases charge speeds for every stance's heavy attacks. And four more points will go into Secondary Damage, which will actually add a damage modifier to these heavy attacks that consume focus points, which make the attacks do more damage based on how much health the enemy has. And a final two points will go into Smashing Force, which increases damage dealt by Smash Stance heavy attacks. So as you can see, the charge speed increases, damage reduction, health back, and the insane damage increases already make this build very good. However, you'll see, if you did have only 25 skill points, you'll still have five more left. And these points, will go into the martial arts section of the foundation tree. One point will go into swift engage, which increases the distance you can lunge attack at enemies, making engagements a little bit quicker and keeping your focus up easier. Another point will go into effortless finisher, which will further increase the focus you gain from the second hit in a light attack combo. One more point is going to go into soaring strike, which will make the first light attack that you do do more damage after you've been sprinting for a little bit. And your final two points will go into punishing downpour, making your light attack combos do more AoE damage. So all of these skills that we've just acquired already work very great together. However, we can still make them even better. First off, if you have the first relic, activate its first effect so you can build more focus. And if you have the second relic, activate either its first or third effect to make your invincibility window slightly longer on all of your varied combos or gain a little bit more damage for a period of time on a perfect dodge. And if you are far enough and have the third relic, activate the first ability which will give you some damage reduction when you're using spells such as Immobilize or Shadow Form And finally, we're going to make this build absolutely broken. We're going to get the Kang Jin Staff, which can be crafted after defeating the Lightning Dragon in Chapter 3. This will give your spinning attack in light attack combos a lightning effect, which will linger around your staff for a few seconds after it's activated. The lightning effect reduces an enemy's damage reduction, making attacks do more damage. You can also equip the Back Scratcher Curios, which gives you a good amount of stamina and can be obtained from the shop in Chapter 1 after the chapter is fully completed. And the Tiger Tally Curio, which will increase your damage when getting hits with your light attack combos. And the final bit of this build will be the Spirits. There's really a bunch of good options here. However, there is two really great options. The first one is the Wandering Wit, which will increase your base defense. This spirit will do a considerable amount of damage, although can be tough to time, and its defense effect will increase once you've leveled it up. Or the Red-Haired Yaksha, which its activation effect is not the greatest, however, it will increase your charged heavy attack damage. And that's just about everything you need to know for this build. Now the only thing you need to do is build some focus points, either by doing light attack combos during fights, or simply just by charging up a heavy attack, and repeat over and over. And while throwing in some spells and transformations, you will feel absolutely unstoppable. And it's very hard to mess up this build due to most of its damage coming from base skills, so you would have to fully respect in order to change this build in a drastic way. Anyway, that's the end of this video and everything you need to know. You can just build out the base of this build and change it up just a little bit to fit your playstyle better, or you can just straight up copy what I did and go to town. I hope this helps you get past that one boss or tough section, and if there's any questions, leave them down below, and I'll answer them as soon as I see them. And if this did help, make sure to like the video and subscribe. That'd help out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thank you.